Okay, let's sort through the disaster that is my workbench currently. <laughs> All right, the neck has finally made it from the rowboat um, from China to the house. And uh, I've done, done some work on it and started getting it ready here. So um, there are a few flaws as with anything wood. And uh, I, I discussed this with the uh, guy that made the neck for us. And uh, he's actually doing pretty cool. And uh, all I wanted to do was suggest that he uh, checks things a little bit better before they go out the door. And he asked for pictures, so I sent him some pictures. Um, what I'm dealing with right now that needs to be fixed here is a nice little, little tool thing here that uh, you can see in the, the unboxing and uh, some more than more than unnecessary tear out on the holes here I think it's time to sharpen some drill bits or be less aggressive on the drilling but uh, there's uh, some some marks on the on a neck that need to be sanded. Uh, I did the frets, did the leveling. Neck came here from China straight as a board, so can't can't argue that. I did the fret leveling, crown and polish. You can't tell right now because all dusty. Because I've been trying to fit the neck to the body, but fret ends have been done. They've been dressed, leveled, crowned, and polished. Um, there is one bad fret here that, <clears throat> excuse me, still can dust. There's one bad fret here that I'm not sure if it was, um, uh, damaged on the roll or got whacked too hard with a hammer, but there was a divot and a big scratch right here and, uh, couldn't, couldn't get it leveled out. I've got it. Got it so it's the best I can. So this is a good candidate for my first uh, refretting job. Probably after this has been played and enjoyed for a while. I kind of was hoping, I thought that this was going to be like medium frets and stuff. But they seem to be very tiny frets. So I guess we're setting this one up as a, as a shred. So... That is that. <clears throat> and uh, that was all part of the video I lost. My dust mask. My granny glasses. Now, since the last time you've seen the body, there's been some carving and stuff done. As you can see here. Got the neck pocket routed out. Very interesting to do with just a, a little Dremel. But uh, actually, I should have kept the neck here. The neck does fit on there nice and snug. And uh, yeah. Just got to put uh, a little bit of. of uh, break angle on it it's still just a little little low to get the spacing i want back here but this is more than likely going to get glued in tonight after i do that i am going to remark my center line since i did a lot of a lot of sanding on the the body and uh trying to thin it out and and, and make it a little bit lighter um, I measured it. It's as, it's as thick as my, my, uh, mockingbirds, just this big old honk, honking chuck up here that adds the extra weight in the, the longer, lower horn. Did my first belly carve. Still need some, some, some touch up. It's hard to shoot that angle, but. Let's see what we can do here. There we go. 
You know, we can actually see it. So, I think that's a decent shape. It's nice and smooth. It, uh, I may, I may want to kind of round that off in there a little bit. Right now, it's they're they're flat angles, so I haven't decided. I may, I may kind of round that at, dish that in a little bit. I'm debating whether or not to put like a small, like start from here, come out high, and then go down longer to here for uh, a leg carve for sitting on your lap. And uh, I'm not sure if I want to round off the, the horn more, you know, make that more, more cylindrical or leave it, leave it square like that. But the back is, the back is all done. You can see the end green is really nice on that. It's beautiful. What I'm going to do is center line is right there. There's the glue joint. I don't want to put the strap button right on the glue joint. So I'm either going to go just inside it or just above it. Let's actually show you what I'm pointing at here. Um, center line is probably right, right about here. The glue line is right there. And uh, I'm either going to put the strap button there or right there. But what I'm going to do for the for the jack, I thought about thought about putting uh, an an arched one down here, straight in one. And then it's like, why do that? Um, you always you always have to pull it up around your strap to get it out of the way. So what I think I'm going to do is right in here, I'm going to do a uh, strat angled in in uh, jack plate. But I'm going to mount it upside down so when it plugs in, you come in from the top hanging over your strap. It's a direct, direct line in. So you don't have to use a 90, you don't have to use, you know, you can use regular guitar cords and all that. And uh, I'm going to try that out, I think. I, I found one online that's gold to match the hardware. So I'll be ordering that next month. <clears throat> and uh, that's where our body, I think I'm going to, before I glue that neck up tonight, I'm going to route the, the uh, neck pickup cavity after I get it measured out. <clears throat> But you're down to one more thing. And uh, a lot of you guys are needing like sawdust and stuff like that for for your builds. I found if you save all your dust, even with the, the chunky stuff in it like this. Um, what I did, I sent a whole bunch of this out to Todd. And I still got another bag to sift and, and half a bag that's already sifted. Is you get one of these simple sifters and you put your put your material in there and uh, put a bag underneath it and, and if you rub it in with your fingers you can get some really fine really good usable dust without the chunkies that you can use for you see the difference right there from that to what it started at. <clears throat> you can get some really good dust for for grain filler, for um, matching holes or patching holes. So just a quick tip trick for that or whatever you want to call it. And uh, that sums up. That's where we are at. So I need to get back to work, get that uh, measured out for that neck pickup and uh, get ready to glue this bad boy up that way I can set the bridge and 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 set the bridge pickup and then figure out where I want to put my electronics all right I made a lot of dust you guys it's your turn go make some bye